Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dio, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw the Dragon. I have been reading a lot of manga again recently, after a bit of a hiatus, uh, focusing more on reading traditional fantasy books and uh, rereading old favorites. And I have finally taken upon myself to go through all of One Piece. I have been slowly working my way through it over the years, but every time I get to a certain point, stop, and then start again. I've done that like two or three times now, and I have committed myself this time to getting it all, the, getting through it all the way to the end. And I've already gone through nine volumes. I, I just finished volume nine. I believe it was volume nine. Uh, and this is a really interesting place for me personally to talk about the to talk about One Piece because this is actually the part of the story of oh, Volume Six, excuse me, not Nine. This is actually the part of the story where I truly began falling in love with One Piece because, of course, I had like seen a little bit of it before that. I saw like the fight sequence between like the the Black Cat Pirates and and some, um, but it wasn't until. We got to we got to the restaurant Barate, where I feel like One Piece really found its footing and really found its niche and really established itself as one of the all time greats. It took a while to get there, but when we finally got to the restaurant, a whole lot of plot threads suddenly began to take off. For one thing, uh, the character development is. Fantastic. We see a lot of major character revolutions, uh, uh, major character growth in this. We see like Luffy kind of developing. We see Nami kind of uh, backstabbing the rest of the group. We see Zolo kind of have a shot at his dream only to fail. And we are introduced to Sanji, who I think has the best introduction arc out of all the characters. I I like Dusops. I, I like Nami. Nami doesn't really have one. Uh, she has her arc, arc coming up next, even though she's already been introduced. But, like, I think out of all, of, like, that initial core five characters, the one who really, really stuck with me and really showed me just how wonderful the world of One Piece was was Sanji, because unlike the others, where you kind of get, like, bits and snippets and pieces of, like, who they are and what they're about, you have a generally good idea of what Sanji is about from the very beginning. Like, uh, they do a good job establishing, like, his his personality, his, um, his general character, and a little bit about his background in, in this... Uh, in this volume, specifically his refusal to leave a man hungry, even if it, even if it like uh, comes back to bite him, right? Um, uh, the volume before this, volume five, Sanji fed the uh, the pirate Gin, who is uh, who is uh, a who is one of the higher higher ranking members of of the of the the, the dreaded Don Krieg's army, um, who immediately came back and uh, back. Um, brought Don Krieg with him, who immediately declared war on the restaurant. Uh, Sanji, <laughs> Sanji is fine with feeding these guys, but he won't allow them to take over the restaurant. And and that's kind of where we uh, kind of where we leave off is that like we are in the middle of a battle, uh, the battle between God, Don Krieg and uh, the Barate cooks. And I, I personally. Feel like this is a great sequence. Uh, th this isn't. This is a great volume. Uh, I gave it five out of five stars. I think. I think the characters are a lot of fun. I think the artwork is great. It has a lot of personality. Uh, there, there's a lot going on here. Um, I mentioned before how like a lot of characters have a lot of development. Um, Nami has a has a great turn. Solo has a great turn. Sanji gets it. Like it's. It's just impeccably well done. Uh, and I think kind of it sets the stage for what's to come in like future volumes and future arcs. The, uh, we're still getting things started. We're still uh, still establishing some things. Um, Zolo lost his fight against uh, Mihawk. I, I didn't even, actually, which is, um, 
a great way, I think, to hype up the Grand Line. Oh, yes, uh, that's another thing this volume did. Uh, better than previous volumes, I think. Uh, we finally got a better look at the wider world of One Piece. We have a general idea of how the world is structured with, like, the, the four C's and, like, the Grand Line and the Red Line and sort of, like, uh, how all the most dangerous project uh, pirates in the world are in the Grand Line, like, pursuing One Piece. Like, we have a, we have a general idea of how that works at this stage. And uh, I really have to applaud Oda for his world building because they he really could have just made this like a generic pirate setting and but really no like the world has its uh, its own history, its own culture, its own like geography. It all it all it's all like so over the top and ridiculous. But it all feels really, really natural and believable at the same time. It, the art, the artistry here is just phenomenal. I can't really think of any other manga like this where it, it's so exaggerated, but manages to get across its ideas so well. Um, I, I, I it, it's it's incredible to me how how Oda has taken like a simple occupation like being a shook cook and made some kind of like crazy anime backstory about it. Like, with Sanji just, you know, starving as a child and then discovering cooking. And I don't think they go into his backstory in this volume. but uh, And then, like, just kind of building his character up around around that. It's, uh, it's a work of pure genius, I must say. Uh, and I, I've read this volume uh, somewhat recently in 2020, I think. And I was kind of... I was kind of reluctant going back to it, um, going through it again, like, so soon. But, uh, like, I said last time I read it that I thought this was my favorite volume of one... Like, my favorite um, portion of One Piece, you, you could say. I thought it I thought it did a lot with, like, in a very short frame of time. And I still think that. I, I still think this is probably my favorite volume of One Piece so far. I highly, highly enjoy it, highly recommend it. Please check it out.